In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite traps for groundhog trapping, how to set them, and also some catches. This is the first trap. This is a cage trap and they're garbage. Don't use cage traps for groundhog trapping. So this is literally the fifth time filming this video because I kept trying to catch a groundhog in one of these cage traps. This is the second time this has happened, but this groundhog keeps digging dirt out of the hole and setting this trap off. The first time the groundhog came down to the hole, started digging some dirt out of it, and then boom, set the trap off right there. And the second time the groundhog starts pushing some dirt into the trap, and he pushed so much dirt in when the trap sets off, the, the door doesn't close all the way. So he's, he's able to dig his way out and escape back into the hole. I've also set up cage traps at several other groundhog holes and used many different types of bait trying to get one and I couldn't even get a single groundhog. So I mainly use two traps for groundhog trapping. This is the trap I use second most often. It's a foothold trap. Okay, I'll show you how to set this one. I'm gonna set this trap at the same spot I had the cage trap, which was right here. There's three holes here, one there, one up there, and also one right there. This is the most active one, so I'm only gonna set one trap here. So things you'll need, obviously a foothold trap. This is a one and a half coil spring trap. That's the size I recommend for trapping groundhogs is a one and a half coil spring. Next is something to stake your trap down. This is a piece of rebar with this T on top and that will hold the trap down. You could also wire it down. Next is a hammer with this claw thing or a small shovel or something. And that's it, you only need those things. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our trap, put it down in the hole where you want it to be. You don't want it to be too deep, but you want it to be like right at the edge of the hole. Get your chain, the end of your chain, and pull it out as far as it will go. And then stake it off right there. And the reason you do that is because when the groundhog gets caught, he's gonna try to go down into his hole and if you have the trap staked off like right here, he'll drag the trap all the way down in there and it's like impossible to try to pull the groundhog back out of the hole. So when I catch one here, he'll be like, his head will be like right here. I wanna to try to get him on a front foot catch. So his head's gonna be right here. If I wanna dispatch him, I could just, you know, boom. And if I release him, his foot's gonna be right up here and you, you know, I can just release him. Okay, so next step, set your trap. Okay, and this is where your hammer comes in or shovel. So you can see my trap sitting right here. So I just remember where that is at. And then dig out a little spot. This is so the trap can be level with the ground. It just kind of camouflages it in more and makes it more look more natural. And then see that? It's kind of laying level with the ground now and you can get some of that loose dirt now and just kind of pack it in. So if the groundhog comes up here, and steps on the jaws or something. It's see, it's not. It's it's moving a little bit, but we got to pack some more dirt around it. But when a groundhog comes up and he step, he accidentally steps on the jaws. Maybe you see, it's not really going to move at all. It's not going to scare him off. Okay, so I live in Ohio, so every foothold trap on land has to be covered up with something. So you could either put dirt over here, or you could just use leaves. What is what I'm going to do right here is just put some leaves over top of it. If you have to have your traps covered up, don't put too much stuff over it. When the groundhog gets caught, it could, you know, it could leave some stuff in between the metal of the jaws and the groundhog's foot and he could slip out of the trap. Okay, so that's it for that trap. I'll see you guys when we catch something. Okay guys, so it's been a couple days and we finally got our groundhog. He's right there. So you can see he's out of the hole. That's how I wanted him to be, but he's all tangled up in my trail camera strap. Um, so that's why you didn't can't get down in the hole far enough, but pretty nice looking one Tame. Oh, yep got him on the foot right there Okay, so I am gonna release this groundhog if you've seen some of my groundhog videos before you'll know that these are a huge pest on our farm But the reason I'm gonna release this thing is because I actually want to hunt this groundhog later in the year with an air rifle Oh my He's free. <laughs> he can't get back in his hole. He dug too much dirt in there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He has to redig his hole because he pushed too much dirt back in there. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen a groundhog do that before. I really hope we actually got the catch on trail camera. That'd be awesome. Now I'm gonna show you the last trap I use. This is the trap I use most often for groundhogs and I have the most success with. In my opinion, it's also the best trap to use. 
and it's this. This is a body gripping trap or conibear. This is my favorite trap because it covers up the whole hole. So if a groundhog comes out of his hole, he's gonna get caught in this, unlike a foothold trap. If he's smart enough, he can walk over the trap and not get caught. So this is kind of like a mouse trap. So when the groundhog sticks his head through there, it releases that top thing and the jaws come down and close on its neck and kills it. Before you go out and buy these traps or use them, make sure you check your state regulations for trapping. In Ohio, you can only have a five inch jaw spread for traps set for these set on land. I know in other states you can have a seven inch jaw spread, which is a 220. This is a 155 conibear. Do not go below a 155 or a five inch jaw spread for groundhogs because it probably won't kill them. So we have a nice fresh hole right there. Also right over here is another fresh hole. You can see the dirt there. I'm gonna go ahead and set a trap over there after I set this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set these conibears bears up in groundhog holes. It's really simple to use. So first get your trap, set it. For these little 155s, I like to put it on the second notch like that. For 220s or 160s, which are size bigger than these, um, I just set on the first notch right here. It doesn't really matter too much. See the triggers on this on this bar right here. I usually have that is on the outside of the hole facing this way instead of like this. Just because it gives a little more room for the groundhog to stick his head in there so the jaws close further back. So this is kind of be the tricky part is get the trap. You want to get this trap as far back as possible. I got a little bit of space between right here and this root. That just kind of helps the jaws close. I don't really like to have it ride up against stuff. I think it's better just to give it a little bit of space, a couple inches. So we got that set in there pretty good. I do have a stake just like for the foothold trap. You can either wire or stake it off just in case. For whatever reason, the animal doesn't die when he gets caught in there, or maybe a coyote can come by and steal him when he gets caught, I don't know. You can see that's pretty solid right there. Actually, it's not that bad, but you don't want to just leave it like that. There's a big space right here about the size of my fist. So I got some big rocks right here. You could use sticks or whatever. Just kind of weigh that down a little bit. Also, before you start doing this, make sure the safeties are off. I took both the safeties off already. Make sure not to put anything on the trigger. That could affect how sensitive the trap sets off. So. You can see I leave a little bit of space right there. So that's really solid now. That trap's not going anywhere. You could just slide a stick right in between these springs, kind of stabilize it more. You want it to look like kind of a little tunnel for the groundhog to go through, so make sure to block off all that stuff. You could use, you could put some grass in there too if you really wanted to, but this one looks pretty good, so we'll just leave it right there. Okay, so I have both the traps set now, so we should have something here. Probably within the first day they're out. I also didn't put a trail camera on there because it's probably too graphic for YouTube if we get a catch on camera on one of those. So I'll see you guys whenever we catch something. So it's the next day and we actually got catches in both traps. Okay, so the first trap I set on camera, we got us a groundhog. Look at that. I think he was going into the hole. That was That's kind of weird, but you can see right behind, right on top of the head. That's a big groundhog too. Like this thing is, this thing is up there with some of the biggest ones I've caught. You can see if that trap was any smaller, it probably wouldn't have killed him. It just got him right on the ears. Okay, so we got a groundhog in there. Successful set. First night we got him. And this is a surprise catch. Not expecting to catch this, but this is an accidental catch. We got a raccoon. I have no idea why raccoons would be living in the same holes as a groundhog would. I've caught ground I've caught raccoons in groundhog holes before, but that is so weird that they'd be living in the same hole like that. This thing will not come out either. There he goes. Pretty small raccoon though. Good catch on him right behind the ears. Very quick death. So you can see the raccoon died before he even came out of the hole. The, ra the groundhog over there, uh, he was going into the hole I think and he got caught and he couldn't even get back into the hole. That's how quick they're dying with these traps. They're really humane trap for, you know, trapping. So if you have a groundhog problem, my first choice would be a conibear trap, which is the ones I caught that groundhog in. 
My second choice foothold trap. Last choice is a cage trap. You can still catch them in cage traps. I've done it before. I just, they're not like as effective as these traps were. Leave me a like and I'll see you in the next video.